you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss conditional formatting on display label now conditional formatting on display label is available for quite some time but it used to work on overall value not on the individual values which are displayed here now from august 2020 onwards that has been supported at the every row level so that we can use that just like the conditional formatting we do on the text or on the value part or on the bars or on the uh, cells of the different different visuals so let's jump on to the power bi and try that out so i am here on the power bi and what i need to do is i need to create a visual first of all so i am going to create a visual uh, using my item dimension my standard sales model is there which you are uh, seeing in all other videos from there i am going to bring brand and with brand i am going to bring in net major net sales and i'm going to convert it into a bar visual clustered column chart i'm going to convert it in let me make it a little bit bigger and i go to the properties uh, the new format pane has been used here and i enable data labels the moment i enable the data label you see all of them has the same color okay and if i extend it further the data labels you see there is a option for positioning means where you want to position them vertical horizontal let's say you want vertical you can have this kind of positioning horizontal auto or inside out those all you can decide now other than that you see in the values and you see this fx option where you can choose either you can choose a you know a particular color list i can go ahead and you know choose a, a manual color or i can give this fx option okay now what i would like here is i would like to you know experiment with this conditional formatting so i simply go to the fx option and first i use the gradient option and the lowest value i make it let's say kind of a red orange and this one and then i would like to make it as a green kind of a shade here and let me say okay so now you see the color is changing from the lowest value to the highest value from a shade of a orange or a red to a green shade so it means each and indiv each individual value is causing this label value to change okay so now let's look at the second option we have uh, so we have the range of the values you can see uh, from uh, max value is from 1.8 million here uh, so let's go and check the rule base now so we go to the rule base and this is showing percentage we can make it number so we say anything uh, uh, which is the net is greater than zero and less than equal to let's say 100k let's make it as red and then add new rule and if it is greater than 100,000 so we may take it 100,000 here so red and if it is 100,000 to let's say half a million 500,000 and both are less than so let's make it less than equal to so let's make it let's say kind of yellowish color add a new rule and anything i think greater than that we are fine let's say Well, less than 112 or we say 1.2 million so this is 230 this has become 1.2 million okay and we make it green please check logic of the rule greater than equal to is it 100k only yes it's 100k and less than is this some value the error is because of the percentage let's make everything as number 
and now you see there are values which is this is less than 100k these are less than half a million and this is more than a million now one more thing which we can do is we can use the field value and in the field value we can create a major of our own choice and you can we we can use that major so let's create a color major first of all let's say color net little bit different kind of rule we'll take so that we can differentiate so we say switch true and we say net less than this time let's say 200k let's call it red alt enter we should use i by mistake pressed and then i'll here i'll only use else so and if it is 500k less than 500k then let's say a yellow otherwise we'll say green our rule is ready so basically our major is ready now once the major is ready you can go to this fx now instead of using the rule we'll use field value and we'll use color net so now you can see again uh, only two values the reason being because this is the value which is again uh, greater than 200k so let's make this one as 300 and let's make this as 700 so that we see some changes here and we commit to them now you can see the things have changed here now it's not necessary that you always play around with the value you can play around with the text also like brand i want a color based on brand so i already created a color major here which can work on brands so brand color so i'm going to give a brand wise color and also remember that it is not that i sometimes play with text and sometimes play with major i can have a combination so i can say if it is brand one then the red would come in a different logic and if it is a brand two then the red would come on different logic only thing is the logic is going to be a little bit complex but you can create those kind of combinations so let's right now go ahead and do and change this label now based on the brand itself instead of this one so i cleared it off i press fx uh, and I go to field value and I again search for color major and this time I use brand color and I say ok and let me do a little bit of sorting here change in the sorting based on the brand I am sorting now so that we can easily match these colors no this is not sorting on the brand sort axis on brand sort ascending A and this is not the numeric sorting uh, so that's why brand 1 should be red and brand 10 should be violet brand 11 should be gold let's look at those then brand 12 brand 13 you can see brand 12 is gold brand we are miss brand 11 we are miss and brand 12 and 13 both would be silver and then we have brand 2 which is blue so both are silver here and which is 2 is which is blue and so on so now you see you know you are able to color the labels in different different color you can use gradient conditional formatting you can use rule base you can use field base or the major base conditional formatting where you can create a major based on the major or based on the uh, data which is available in the axis and when you use that because it can only take major we are creating a major so we are using a max or the selected value that's how you are going to use it so we are using max item brand equals to brand one then red blue and or we can have combination of these along with net margin gross anything which you have so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you